Hello, and I'm just going to show you the Call of Duty and V3 limited edition Air Force Bravo headset. And it is um, wireless, so you can use it without wires. So that's the packaging, but I've took it off because it's um, dead hard to do it, and I'll probably waste like half the time getting it. So the second bit is this, and it's just like a little case, and it comes with that. It's just like a little card picture. Comes with that, I don't know what that is, just and then it comes with a sticker. So that's pretty cool. And then um onto the headset. Um by the way, um there is um when you do it you have to take off some things yeah. So I'll just um put them off. First bit is this. And it's the box for it. Pretty cool. It's got um, PC or Mac, PS3 or Xbox 360. Um, Tail Beach. And then now for the headset. Now oh, this is really cool. It's cool. Go that there. It's got the Call of Duty there. And then got the Tilted Beach sign inside. That's pretty cool. So, um, and then it just comes with like, the case. And then it comes with this wire here. That's for the computer. And then um, if you. What's it called? If you use um, Xbox and you want HD, this is the lead you use. That's good. Um, and then this is the main power one for it. Yeah, and then um, yeah, it's Tail Beach on that. Well, it says Tail Beach. Uh, you probably can't see that, but it does. Um, so that's the main one, and then this is the charger. This one's the charger. Big wire. Just charger, and this is the one that you use to connect it. The headset you can go with, and that's another main one. So there is a um, one, two, three, four, five wires all together. But then, if you use HD, you'll use this one. So it's six wires. Um, and then I'm just going to show you how to connect it to the computer or laptop, whatever. I'm just going to so. This is your top, and then um, you get you get the box. Oh, I'll just get the box, and then the box. You have to switch it to PC and Mac. From there, you get the, the main one. One like that there. So you get the main one. What's this one? And then you stick it into. In the back, it's got USBs and all that. You might not be able to see that, but it does. And you stick the end of the power one into the USB there. That goes in there. there. And then this one goes into like this one of the slots at the side. So I'll show you that now. So the back in the side there, just where your iPod connector or iPhone connector would go. And then, uh, it's a bit tricky getting in, so, um, yeah, try and, yeah, so, there you go, and then that's it, and then, that gives, it's, if it's in properly, it should give out a green light that, yeah, like that, and then, um, not that one, this wire, what was at the bottom of your fingers, then this one comes in, but then, um, so in the back again, this one goes into goes into oh, what's next to the main one goes in there like that. So now it's got two wires in. Then this end should go into where your speakers or the speaker fingers. 
So this one goes into your headphones. One. Oh, you just need to find where your headphones one is. Plug it into there, or if you're on a computer, you put it into your speakers. So then you like then that, and then you get your headset. Turn it on, and then it should come on. If not, well, you haven't plugged it in. Yeah, you pl plugged it in the wrong plug. And then for the Xbox, this one is pretty simple as well. You, if you're using HP, you um, get this wire, and then this side you have to put in that one with the red and white ones. So get these two into you put the white one into the white one obviously and the red one into the red one obviously and then yeah that, that goes into like that and then you, this end what plugs into where you would normally put your um one if you weren't using hd so and then you go then this end Goes into um. Oh no, I'll get it now. This end of the thingy goes into the game on the box, Call of Duty box, and then you, again you will get the one what gives the power into the USB one. What you've seen already so that one goes into there and it should look like that it should be like that but you might not be able to see it um like that and then and then this one goes into the usb on your xbox so go to my xbox This one goes in And it should go on like that. And once that in, um, this end goes all the way back to this. And then you can put that wherever you want. I'll put mine there. And then the power one. Just get that in there. The power one either goes in there or. Put it in the back. In the back. Yeah. Then, when you've done that, make sure you start a flash and you put it onto the Xbox one. Then, you get your headset. Oh, and I forgot to say on the um, thingy one, you need to, on your headset, um, you need to keep hold of it for, I think, um, you need to keep hold of the power button for like, um, I think, six, like six seconds or something like that until it starts flashing, and then it should start flashing on and off like that, like on, off, on, off, on, off, like, glue to, glue to that. Blue to that, blue to that, blue to that. And then um on the box there is pair button and you click that and that should start to flash as well. And then um you should eventually find. So yeah. Hope it helped. And um yeah. So that's the headset.
pretty cool headset. So I hope it helped. And yeah, comment if it did and like and subscribe.